we have a source of wireless energy way over there about two meters from us putting out about two watts at 500 kilohertz now this is this tiny little circuit here made from just two LEDs and two transistors now and we've got it on four volts now when I touch one of these wires the basis of the transistor that bulb lights up for the PNP transistor when I touch the other wire the NPN lights up so depending on which wire I touch one bulb or the other will light up specifically it's quite amazing isn't it I was going to stop but then I found one more amazing circuit which I just have to show everybody we have a source of wireless energy way over there about two meters from us putting out about two watts at 500 kilohertz now this is this tiny little circuit here made from just two LEDs and two transistors now and we've got it on four volts now when I touch one of these wires the basis of the transistor that bulb lights up for the PNP transistor when I touch the other wire the NPN lights up so depending on which wire I touch one bulb or the other will light up specifically it's quite amazing isn't it it only has four parts so even a monkey could build it a border collie could build it here it is just have three or four volts from a DC power supply or a battery two LEDs and two transistors and there's nothing else BD649, BD650 actually my body was acting as the antenna which receives that wireless energy and sends it into the base of these two transistors if without touching it I can put a long aluminum tube near the light touch it on the base of the PNP transistor and it lights up the blue bulb or I can take that same aluminum rod which is near the wireless light put it on the base of the NPN transistor and it lights up the white bulb finally if we put the aluminum rod on both base wires at once we light up both bulbs likewise if we tie both base wires together from the NPN and PNP transistors and the wireless lights way over there and I grab it with my fingers we light up both bulbs in the same way although not as quite as bright as having the antenna over there because now my thumb is the antenna pretty cool isn't it finally if you'd like to know how much current is driving those LEDs without an antenna being here we put a multimeter on the output of the transistors to ground we get a very low 0.03 milliamp next when we add a short aluminium antenna to the same thing we get 1.37 milliamps if I use my body as an antenna and just hold on to the wire here that leads in this NPN PNP transistors we get about six or seven milliamps I'll take my finger off put the finger back on once again this is all pulse DC power at about 454 kilohertz coming from that light over there so we can amplify this power in DC form, pulse DC, through another transistor if we wanted. But it's a bit difficult to do in AC form because of the various technical issues.